first of all, man, let's talk about some of the anime we've been we've both been watching. You know. Okay. You you want to go first or should I? Um, let's do one on one. All right, all right. Okay. Ladies first. Okay, one of the anime that I watched recently is Black Butler. And basically, it is literally about a butler, but he's he's a demon, and he takes care of a little boy that has lost both his parents, but right. he's in a noble family, basically, and they kind of solve mysteries. It's kind of based in um, England. Mm, and butler. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Obviously. Yeah. Some, this is an assumption. When you said black butler. Yeah. I, well, I, had, I think. Yeah. I think England straight away. Well, it's definitely England. And um, it's based around Jack the Ripper times mm. as well. So there's little things that have to be to be solved and they kind of solve a couple of crimes and stuff like that. And he basically works for the Queen of England, basically this little boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a very smart little boy. And I don't want to get into the story too much, but basically he he lost his parents and he... He's got this de- demonic butler who takes care of him, mm-hmm. um, but at a price. The butler does whatever he wants, and he does everything, obviously, like a good little butler. But mm-hmm. the whole point is that the butler, the demon, he's a demon. And demons, what do demons usually do? Kill mm-hmm. hu- humans. And at the end of the day, he, they've kind of signed a pact that he will eventually eat his soul. Excellent. You know, you saying that, one thing I love about anime, they always bring in this whole thing about demons and humans living together. In a lot of anime, they love doing, it's not all black and white about demons, but, you know, that's a subtopic we could probably get into another podcast, but this anime, it wasn't one of those animes, or was it? What, demons, living... were the, demons were the bad guy. It was that clear cut. There was no... To tell you the truth, it's quite funny because, yeah. <laughs> the de- demons were the bad there was no two ways about who was the who was the bad guy demons were the bad guy and it was funny because when you're watching the anime you're you're thinking is is this demon kind of feeling more connected to this person you know growing a heart literally mm. but all the way through this guy has one agenda and it basically is he's watching his wine mature you know and mm. with every move this boy does or whatever, and this boy's a little shit anyway, he really can't do nothing. He can't even tie his shoelaces, you know? Yeah. And um, every little thing that this guy, any little bad thing or good thing, this guy does, this little boy does, who's named Cell, Phantom Hive, does, um, he relishes in it and he, his hunger grows, but he's, he's, he, he's allowed himself to, to hold it back. And then you get to see some, you know, moves that, you know, that the butler does. So it was interest. It was an interesting anime. I won't say it's, I would say it's, it was a, it was, de- it's definitely a watchable anime. The thing that bothered me was, th- was that I watched Black Butler 1 and then Black Butler 2 came out. And the way that one ended, I thought was actually very, very perfect. Mm-hmm. And then they brought two, and I really couldn't understand why they brought two. But I must say, if you watch, like, for me personally, if I watch two episodes at the beginning of two, and then I watch the end, oh, the ending was really, really satisfying. In part two now? He's yeah, talking. the ending in part two was was a bit of a giggle fest for me. So I just want to ask, how long is each season? Is what are they both twelve or one twenty four, twenty six, or what is it? No, no, no. The first, the first series is twenty four, mm-hmm. and the second is twelve. And I think the reason why they did that is because I don't know why they didn't really need a second season at all. The way it ended in the first was very, very good. I was very happy with it. So, and it really did get, I'm not going to lie, the second season did get very convoluted. It it got to a point where you're just thinking, I really don't understand what's happening. But when the end, just the end made me literally giggle. It it actually made me laugh because everybody got what they deserved. Both of them are are definitely watchable. Definitely not vanilla. Watchable. Mm. All right, my turn. unfortunately I I don't think I can go on as long as you did about your anime because my anime was very short it was only six episodes and um, it was called Karas K-A-R-A-S 
animation, gorgeous, fucking beautiful. If you give the animation a score, it'll be a 10. Storyline, average, you know. And the first three episodes are just, nobody knows what the fuck is going on. You, even if you read the reviews, they tell you, you don't know what the hell's going on. It's just engulfing you in the animation and so much action. They look like fucking Ninja Power Rangers going all around uh, some city and, you know. So, foundationally, what is it about? Foundationally, to give people a brief, you know what? I don't think it's fair for me to tell people what it's about because you have to watch the first hour and a half before you you get to understand. <laughs> but if I tell you, you might enjoy it more. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to tell you what you if when you're first watching it, you just see these things fighting each other and you don't really know why. What I will say is later you will find out that they're guardians to the city, and that's all I'm going to say. And to be honest with you. It's very shallow anime. There's the storyline isn't that deep. For me to tell you any more, it, it's a bit of a spoiler. Guardians, guardians, guard in the city. They have a reason for guarding the city, and you know, one guardian wants to retire another. Even me saying that is too much. Okay. Ultimate, ultimately, it is a beautiful, beautiful anime to watch, but just pff, I, disappointing, definitely, man. That, but you know, for all the animation, it's one of those animes, and I don't say this a lot. Because I don't advocate animation over Snow storyline, but this one is it's worth looking at because it's very beautiful. Really ten. Animating it's a ten. Straight ten Karas, so but a lot of people already know this. So that's all I really got to say about it. It was it's a quick watch. You can watch it in what is it? An hour and a half. Yeah, so, three hours. So is it, what is it? What are you ranking it as? It's vanilla with amazing animation. Well, how you said it's only six episodes, yeah? Yeah. I'm literally but, confused by what you're saying. You're actually confusing me slightly. Cause how am I confusing you? No, no, no. It's like you're telling me about anime, but I don't even know what, what it's about. It's confused because it is. It's it's a mishmash. But, they, you know, when you read the reviews, they'll just tell you that they just, they're just pushing the animation in your face through the whole anime, how beautiful it is, but there's no storyline. Good storyline with that animation, wow. That would be phenomenal. You know, and I bought this anime on DVD long time and I sold it without even watching it. So that gave me the right to download okay. it. Okay, why the hell did you do that? I need the money. I needed the money, all right? I mean, Jesus. Don't bring I... it up. If you don't wanna if you don't wanna say the whole thing, then don't bring up half. No you have one to wants ask. No but nobody wants fifty percent of a story. But why did you even ask? Why, why did you just... bring it up? Alright, 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 let's let's move on. Anyway, it's your turn now. Try to keep it short this time, alright? Especially if it's if it's watchable. Okay, should I just? All right. The the other anime that I watched recently is called Freezing. Hearing good things about that actually. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Mhm. Um, it, it's it's very very action packed, and there's a lot of whoops. There's a there's my nipple out again. What I like to say. Or fan service. Yeah, yeah, loads of fan, loads of fan service, loads. Was it? Did that bother you? Or? I mean, I, you know, I have a thing about boobs, like I've told you before. I don't mind big boobs, yes, hmm. in an anime. I don't, I don't mind them at all. Should that make a lot of people happy? Yeah. Anyway, right. But when they are so up in your neck that I literally cannot see anything else, it kind of gets on my nerves. Mm. You know, like I don't, I know you got big boobs, you know. Yeah, and they were just, and the main character has got the biggest bazookas ever. Oh, so the protagonist is a female in it Freezing. It is a female, yeah. Okay. And it is basically, you know, I wonder if I, I don't want to go in. You, it's hard for me to keep this kind of thing short. That's the reason why most of the times I'm on the reviews and not on I'm this. Not on the drink card. I can't do short. All right, let me help you then. <laughs> Let's just overrule, overrule it for us. What, do you like it? you enjoy it? I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, the fan service um, did get on my nerves in some points because there's a lot of fighting in, in the anime and a lot, a lot of, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of fighting, a lot of blood and blah, blah, blah. And they're basically on par. Mm-hmm. But what I would, I know I'm not making it short, but what I would say is that the clothes got ripped off a bit too much. Da, 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 da. Well, I don't really know what this anime is about from what you're telling me, so just tell me the genre. What is it, a horror, mystery, science fiction? It's a sci-fi. 
basically it's it's literally about um people trying to certain people that have a, a gene yeah yeah that try, are trying to um save the world because basically these aliens come down and they're, they're trying to kill and take over and stuff like that and the these literally it's a woman it's a it's a two it's a partnership you need a man and a, a um a female and a, a male basically team and the, it's funny because the woman always has to be the girl has to be older than the than the boy and they go mm. out into the field and they kill these these monsters basically yeah so what would you how would you rate the anime it's um, it's what you know what i just want to say for the record i don't want you to think that just because i'm i'm in an army about it I'm, I'm eliminating us reviewing the anime you know it's just that we all have to decide what we're going to review Most it's definitely. not just it's not just down to me so i don't know if this is something that i would like to review because of the fact that i've only watched series one i I'm assuming that there is definitely going to be another se- a series because we only literally touched the surface um, of the anime. If you, if you ask me, the ending got a bit uh, for me. So it is in between watchable and it's 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 80% watchable. And what, the rest 20% solid beat? Yeah, is that what you yeah, got? that's exactly oh, okay. what I'm saying. That's not bad. But I can understand why people like it, definitely, because the protagonist is very interesting. And okay. yeah, and it's a very like power to the females. It's a female like I'm gonna kick some ass. They're doing a lot of that. Men are weak, and I got mm. boobs as well. 